The American College of Medical Genetics is very happy to provide Genetics in Your Health, a series of short videos to explain to you how genes translate into health. For more information on Genetics in Your Health, please visit the American College of Medical Genetics website at www.acmg.net. The American College of Medical Genetics is pleased to provide a short series of videos on Genetics in Your Health. Today we're here with Dr. Joe Lee Simpson, immediate past president of the American College of Medical Genetics. Welcome, Dr. Simpson. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to start with a real basic question. Uh, we're hearing a lot about genetics. What is a geneticist? DNA is a hereditary information. A geneticist is someone who understands DNA. They understand what it can has meant to us in terms of our development and in terms of what it meant to us in terms of our health. At one time, DNA seemed pretty obscure, both to physicians as well as to the general public. We only need to read the newspapers to know that that's not the case uh, anymore. That we know and are increasingly learning about additional genes that uh, govern the way we develop. They govern our health. Uh, they tell us which medicines will make us better and offer a great deal of preventive information. This can be quite confusing, and a geneticist can be looked upon as a trusted professional who can help other physicians as well as the general public sort through this maze of information. Uh, there are geneticists in all parts of the country, and uh, these geneticists can help patients understand what genetic tests are and which tests might be relevant for them and which one are very unlikely to provide genetic information. So it sounds like a geneticist can be a very important part of uh, the healthcare team. Well, obviously we think so. And in addition, they complement other physicians. So they do not uh, necessarily work in isolation, although that can be uh, examples in which they serve as a primary medical provider. But uh, very often they work in collaboration with physicians in many other specialties and often are members of another specialty as well. If someone uh, has further questions about genetics and they'd like to find a geneticist in their area, how can someone go about finding a geneticist? The American College of Medical Genetics provides through its website a service entitled Find a Geneticist. And in that service, one can look and locate a certified individual who is in your geographical area who can uh, either provide that service him himself or herself, but can also uh, refer you to a specialty elsewhere in the country if uh, the particular condition that you have requires unique expertise that may not be available in that particular region. So geneticists are definitely um, highly trained healthcare professionals. What kinds of training goes into becoming a geneticist? One goes through a standard doctorate program, be that uh, an MD or a PhD, uh, following which there is all uh, there is uh, always an extended period for physicians as an example that could be an internship and residency followed by yet additional training of some two to three years sometimes longer in order to master both the clinical uh, complexities of medical genetics as well as in some cases laboratory expertise as well they're certifying uh, programs that uh, we expect uh, a trained clinical geneticist to undergo uh, in addition to their primary uh, subspecialist in many areas. Dr. Simpson, can you tell me what you like about being a geneticist and being in this exciting field? Well, this is a wonderful time to be a physician in general, but a wonderful time to be a geneticist as, as well. We're increasingly learning uh, what makes the human body tick, uh, I personally, in addition to being a medical geneticist, am an obstetrician, and so it's exciting to me to learn a lot about development. Uh, we're in a position to predict uh, how the development is occurring. We're increasingly in a position to treat uh, conditions that may have gone astray as a result of uh, a genetic problem, uh, and increasingly overall provide much better health to the general public, uh, to pregnant women, uh, and to babies uh, after they have been born. To me, this is a very exciting time as we see the fruits of the Human Genome Initiative uh, coming to bear. Uh, we are learning more and more about the some 20,000 genes that exist in humans, 
Uh, we still are scratching the surface, and there's a lot of excitement to look forward in the future, both diagnostically and from the uh, therapeutic point of view. Sounds like this is a great time to be in genetics, and if someone has more information, they can contact the American College of Medical Genetics? Absolutely. We would love to hear from you. We would love for you to take advantage of the information we provide on the website, and uh, any of our members would be happy to discuss with you opportunities for careers in genetics, as well as uh, other sources of information that might be useful in an educational venture, or whatever your specific question may be. Thank you very much, Dr. Simpson, American College of Medical Genetics. For more information on genetics in your health, please visit the ACMG website at www.acmg.net. Thank you for watching our segment on genetics in your health. For more information on genetics in your health, please visit the American College of Medical Genetics website at www.acmg.net.